I hope what the judge. Did you do? I hope oh. the judge will go easy on us. Hey, Facebook friends! What it actually is is welcome to our first edition of Morning Mug Shot. Get it? See what yeah. we did there? Ha, ha. <laughs> Mom, you don't have to have a heart attack. <laughs> okay. So you may have noticed. You may have noticed Turn to one, you that want recently. <laughs> How about this? We'll get a nice close-up here. So we've been using mugs from uh, the University of Akron during the morning show, and we're hoping that we can use we different go, mugs nice. every week and maybe even bring you some facts that you may not know about each school. Mm -hmm. So we hope to do these you know, weekly Facebook Live morning mug shots. Okay. I'm going to tell you what, this is a sharp mug. It That's is. a really nice. sharp-looking mug right and there. And not only is it sharp, it fits a ton of coffee in it. Yeah. yeah. Any Akron alumni watching us, we'd love you to comment and let us know your favorite thing about the school. We mm -hmm. just heard a yeah in our ear from our director right. Spanx. Yeah, right. that's his nickname. Okay, so uh, let's talk some fun facts. Okay, we love Akron. Wait, let me uh, log on to our Facebook so I can. See you the do comments. that. Maybe you went to school with this famous celebrity, Yvette Nicole Brown. Oh yeah. How about that? Graduated that. from the University of Akron in 1994. Now, she's been in a lot of different shows and is starring right now on ABC's The Mayor. But a lot of you know her from the show Community, and she has also done a lot of voiceover work. So she's very well known. And we know students are just getting back from winter break this morning, but some may already be thinking about summer classes. And at the University of Akron, they actually offer a summer elective on, are you ready? Star Wars. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Or was that in 1983 yeah. through right. 1987? I would have gone yeah. to Akron. I would have found that. You just so had a underwater class basket on weaving. Star Wars. <laughs> so uh, I'm curious. How many curious. times have I seen the, uh, the entire series so far? Outside of the ones that have come out. So you've Five or seen, six times. You've seen you? and you've seen the latest. No, one. I haven't seen the latest. What? One yet. No, no. Hmm. But you're a big Star Wars fan. No, I just I've been really busy lately. But that's okay. not what this is all about. All right. right. <laughs> I'm curious. I'm about curious to, to know what they teach. Well, here it is. This. They study the history, mythology, and religion found in the series, and they okay. promise all the Star Wars geeks out there that think they know everything, you're going to learn something from this class. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I want to know how to do those buns that Princess Leia yeah. perfected so well. Yeah. You know what? I would have done a lot better in that class than art history, but that's another <laughs> story for another time, too. Well, meanwhile, you know, the force is strong with mm -hmm. the school's mascot, Zippy. Aw, love Zippy. He's so great. He's been in studio. Well, you know what? It's a she. Oh, it's a she. Right? So uh, maybe... Lena a found that out. <laughs> okay. That, that's, we'll get to that story in a second. Yeah. So, yeah. so Zippy is actually only one of only a handful of female mascots in college sports. She's very talented. Mm -hmm. You know, Zippy's reached the finals of the National Mascot Challenge for over a decade. Wow. And yes, we found out on live TV that Zippy is a girl. Well, and soon yes. she'll be able to cheer on a new sport, eSports. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. Did you like go into that? Like, how did, how did you make the discovery of the girl? <laughs> Can we tell the story? Well, well, I mean, it was on live TV. Okay, so Zippy was here, yeah. and Zippy's spokesperson yeah, yeah. referred to Zippy as she. And, that was and, and we were both, it. and that was, a, and we both both she, and, we're, and we're, yeah. he's like, yeah, yeah. Zippy. And isn't a it funny how we always assume he with these mascots? Right. And so, right. I, and because you know, female kangaroos have pouches, I go, oh, Zippy, that means you have a pouch. Can we see your pouch? <laughs> I swear to God, <laughs> Zippy goes. She goes, what? <laughs> And she really had a pouch. And, and John just wanted to run. And, well, I did run. Um, <laughs> and truth of the matter they is, came back. Zippy, right we have we have sent apologies to you. You've never come back to the show. So I'm extending it again. Story. Anybody who knows Zippy, it's such a great story. We'd love to have Zippy back. Now, here's the thing about Zippy. Before we get to this esports and stuff, yeah. Some of you may remember. So this national mascot of the year yeah. is with the bowl games, Capital One, and all that right. stuff. And fans vote. Right. We led a campaign on the oh, morning right. show and that. we stuffed the ballot boxes. I mean, everybody was voting. This was a great thing in the morning show. And Zippy made a run all the way to the title. Right. Zippy has a banner for National Mascot of the Year. Zippy's so cute. It's fantastic. Now, let's get back to the eSports. Okay, good. Because I think this is fascinating. So students can get scholarships now for playing games like League of Legends, Rocket League, Hearthstone. Wow. 
and a lot to be proud of. Now, here's the other thing. That, now, this is going to be a varsity sport, varsity esports. There, so it's all gaming. It's gaming, and yeah. this is brilliant because there is talk out there that someday we may see esports in the Olympics. Now, some are against it, saying, "Okay, look, that's not a sport. That's not skiing, skating, whatever." But there's a movement to get esports in the Olympics, and then you could train and go to school in Akron here and really prepare for the Olympics. So your son, you know, he he plays video games. He does. Do you We've play? got an Xbox. So. Okay, we is it really something that you can follow like on TV, like you watch a game, plays unfold, oh look at his technique, I, I don't, I, how does that even know, work? Well they have big arenas where they do this stuff and I'll tell you, I watch him and I'm amazed. Uh, right. I mean, our hockey score will be 11 to nothing in the first period and he'll say, look, I I'm going to take it easy on you, game's over. I mean, Brady's, Brady's, <laughs> been, Brady's been in like four Super Bowls in the last right. month. But my son has it set up with friends right. where they've got headsets yes, I, well, and they talk to say. each other and they're playing, they're on the same but team. But they're not in the same they're house. They're not in the same house. Right, Brady does the same thing. I mean, we're newcomers at all this stuff. But this eSports is growing. Drone racing is yes. growing sport, and I mean, we could see that someday in the Olympics. But again, the fascinating thing is Akron is so far ahead on this yeah. by offering classes. Mm -hmm. Who knows where it's going to lead? You know to. what? It's yeah. smart. Yeah. It's where we're evolving to. Mm -hmm. Why not embrace it? Which is what you're doing, Akron. Right. Yeah, let's hear it for you. Uakron.edu is their yep. website. Thank you for so much. Your morning mug it's shot. Great mug. I'm just like excited it. to have uh, all these different chalices to enjoy coffee out of now. Holly, you could put an entire pot of coffee in that. Honestly, right it's one of the yeah. biggest yeah. mugs, and it's really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So send us your school's mug. Right, I mean, that's, that's my. Just, that's just. That's, just, that's, that's my favorite part. Really funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a mug shot. <laughs>